my wife thinks that I don't give her enough privacy. Well, that's what she said in a diary anyway. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again, everybody, and welcome back. I've seen a lot of posts about the NVIDIA Shield being updated to the Experience 9.0, which is Android 11. And I've got to say, I'm hearing about and also seeing a hell of a lot of comments about people having issues after updating. But let's get mine updated, see what it's like. I'll be the guinea pig. Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And let's crack on. Right, so first of all, what I will say is I haven't used my NVIDIA Shield for quite a long time. At the moment, I'm going to do the update on the 2017 version. But what I will ask is if you've done the update, comment down below what issues you've had or what experience you've had with it. And then anybody watching this video wondering whether to update or not, can look in the comments section and see if it's actually worth it for them. So when I first turned on the shield, I didn't really see anything. I saw a notification, but this was actually for my external storage. But if I went into the settings and went into system upgrade and checked for an update, you will see it did start updating to the new update. Now, it is quite a big file. I think it's around one gigabyte, and it did take about 20 minutes to fully do it. But we're not going to sit here for that long showing you it updating, so... Let's jump over to it finished. Right, so once it's finished, you're going to see it come up as normal. There's not really no change in terms of the interface. But one thing I will say is when I seem to turn it back on, the remote, it takes ages to pair up and start working. Now, I don't know why this is, and I don't know if that's 100% something to do with the update, but I do have to wait quite a while for that. Another thing I have noticed as well is one of the main things people use NVIDIA Shields for is... APKs, streaming or emulators. Now, Sideload Launcher was an app that allowed us to quickly access APKs we couldn't add to the home screen. But now, if I click on Sideload Launcher, what you are going to see is the app was built for an older version of Android and may not work properly. Now, it looks like you can still use it, but that's just one of the things I did see mentioned quite a lot. And a lot of people are wondering, is it going to start affecting... APKs on this device. Another thing I've seen mentioned quite a lot is about external storage. Now, a lot of people add external storage devices to the NVIDIA Shield, whether it be for ROMs, emulators, movies, TV shows, and stuff like that. But now, I've tried it with mine, and I don't seem to be able to access it anymore, and I don't know why that is. Another thing you can look at as well is if we go to settings, and we go to remotes and accessories, what you are going to see, you've got shield accessories. I never knew it actually showed the battery level in the remote, which is pretty cool, isn't it? Probably shown that all along, though, hasn't it? <laughs> but another thing, if you scroll down, what has been added is disconnect Bluetooth accessories on sleep. Now, I've got both of these turned off, so I can't see why I'm having an issue with the remote. Another thing they have added in the new update, if we go to the Google Play Store, for instance, then we go to search, and this should happen inside all apps. You're going to see at the top of the keyboard there, you've got a mic, meaning whatever application you're using to be able to type in and search, you are going to be able to use your voice as well. That might be something that does come in handy for a lot of people. Another thing I've seen mentioned quite a lot as well is about Plex. A lot of people are seeing issues with this after doing the update so if you're a plex user i would hold off for the time being if we jump over to this website here you're going to see what's new in 9.0 it's going to tell you a little bit about it i will leave a link in the description down below if you want to go and check this out yourself but you're going to see you've got some new or upgraded apps now there's not many in here apple tv really the only one that appealed to me you've got some new games and that and then you've got some other enhancements so it includes Android security patch level September 2021. You can see there's some changes to Bluetooth. Adds new Gboard keyboard option. And I think this is about the mic that's being added to it or the voice search. You've got Stadia button support on controllers and additional bug fixes. But as you can see, nothing really to do with the interface has changed. Now, what I'm going to quickly do is restart the shield and see if I can show you the remote not working at first. While we're waiting for that as well, what do you think to the new haircut? You like it? <laughs> I saw a lot of comments saying, get your beard cleaned up, but I'm now connected, and it is actually working straight away this time. 
But the past three times I have restarted the device, that is something I found that the remote wasn't working straight away. So a lot of people might have found this video pretty pointless, but the main point of this video was to get your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. A lot of people are going to be seeing a lot of negatives about the update, and I personally would say if your Nvidia Shield is working as it should at the moment without the update, do not update it. There's too many people having issues at the moment, and these could just be due to it being a new update, and there could be bug fixes in the near future. But I just wanted to be the guinea pig and show you what experiences I had with it, and I'm guessing in the comments section down below, you're going to let me know your experience with it as well. And although it may not feel like it, that will help a lot of people that watch the video. So do get involved in the comments section, right? So that being said, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I'm watching this. And I'll see you soon. ta -da. Now, sound... Sound low. <laughs> the G-board, keyboard... Keyboard? <laughs> But I just wanted to be a guinea pig and show you what experiences I had. I had. Hi. I had. <laughs> <laughs>